Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to provide a homeschool update now that we have finished our third quarter and are moving into the home stretch. Um, our routine has remained pretty much the same since I think um, we started back after winter break. Uh, one day a week, we do blossom and root science and art. We were doing the um, culture slash geography, and we've actually finished that because we moved through that a little bit quicker. Um, and on those days, we have uh, doubled up on some of the science lessons so that we're covering a couple of topics at a time in order to make sure that this last quarter we're actually able to go a little bit more in depth because it is talking a bit more about how all of the species and the environment and everything really interconnects and I wanted to be able to spend a bit more time on that subject. So we are just finishing up with the Blossom and Root Science, um, the animals. I think this week will be the last week of specific animals that we are talking about. And then we're going to start talking about more of the ecology and environment. On that one day a week, we also do some of our subscription activities, which are um, worksheets from the Sankofa Club, um, and then either an Atlas Crate box or a Top Secret Adventures um, mystery packet. So those are the things that we're doing, and that's one day a week. Um, we do that on the weekend. Our um, days have shifted because of a shift in work. So my husband does the one day a week there that covers science and art with Blossom and Root and the subscription activities. Then three days a week um, is when I am doing schooling and we cover the moving beyond the page language arts and social studies. So we are doing some more right now about different cultures and we're about to move on to a different book that is going to tie in with the environment um, because I just thought that would be a great way for us to end our school year and move into spring is with all sorts of environmental type things. Um, maybe we'll do something big and special for Earth Day um, along those lines, things along those lines. Uh, let's see. So we still do the uh, flashcards that we have done. We've actually gone through a couple of sets of flashcards now. So our flashcards consist of one question of the day, which my learner writes out in cursive, actually now, uh, writes out their answer in cursive. And then we have... Um, a flashcard that is a social problem solving type question and a flashcard on black history. So a famous um, person um, in black history. Uh, we have finished uh, several different sets of flashcards and we just started the last set of flashcards, which will be um, flags of countries around the world and insects, which I thought was kind of funny because most of those insects we don't actually have up here. So I thought it'd be a good thing for um, my child to learn about bugs that they won't encounter on a regular basis. Um, so we still do those. We also, we finished word roots. Um, we were doing that as sort of our morning work along with the flashcards. We finished word roots and we have started an editing and I'll make another video that covers those specifically. Um, but the kids really liking the editing and it's getting a chance to practice um, a lot of the grammar and punctuation. So, so far it's covered um, different punctuation, contractions, uh, pronoun to noun agreement and things like that. And that's going really well. Um, and then five days a week, our kid does Spanish and math completely independently now, which is really awesome. We were kind of working towards independence with some lessons and we've gotten there. So that's really good. Um, math is with, with teaching textbooks and that has worked really well for us. 
So still working through that progression. And then Spanish is with Rosetta Stone and it breaks them down into like five or 10 minute little activities. And we just, um, just have the kid do one of those per day. So that's kind of where we are. We are on pace to finish out um, the math by the end of our school year, which is end of May for our uh, charter homeschool program. And we, the Spanish, the Rosetta Stone, um, that's ongoing. We have access to it, so we can continue to do that. Um, the Blossom and Root, we should finish out also as we approach end of May, I think. Actually, the art will finish with by the end of April, and then the science will have time to spend um, a little bit more in depth on in May, but we should finish that by the end of May. And then the moving beyond the page curriculum, uh, we didn't receive that until like halfway through the fall semester. And honestly, the pacing on that is a lot, I, I'm not sure that that is supposed to be done in a year. <laughs> The more I look at it, I don't think that it is um, for a year unless you are, you know, 365 homeschooling, but maybe I just haven't studied the pacing enough. We are going to finish a couple more units with language arts and with uh, social studies slash science. Um, and then we're actually probably going to use those next year. And I'm going to do another video about what our plans are for the future, but wanted to provide an update first so that you guys would kind of know where we are and that will make more sense then when we talk about what we're gonna do in the future. So let me know how things are going with you and thanks for watching.